Bonjour and welcome to Wrong Way. And today we're going to test if test this massive beast of a scooter. Let's compare the tire size. 15 inches. This is 11 inches. The dual trend city. So let me tell you more about it. Wrong way. already feels so weird feels like a motorcycle oh it's so stable and as you can tell we are not in Poland anymore we are actually in France we are in Paris uh, it's sort of a semi business semi vacation trip but I'm enjoying here a lot I love being in Paris there's so many nice people here big thanks to Jeff Ride from Fast Ride Fast Ride for giving me this scooter for testing purposes and yeah, you can buy it there. It's a new product. You can also check out PET in Great Britain. But yeah, I'm enjoying Paris so much. Big, huge thanks to Raphael Bonheur sur Seine for showing me around. Uh, so many nice people here. We have so many nice adventures. Uh, I'm gonna make a vlog out of it sometime later, but yeah, now let's focus on Dolphin City. And tell you what, the streets of Paris are very good for testing the scooter as you have seen the scooter has 15 inch tires 15 inches this is by far the biggest inch scooter that i've ever ridden i can already feel the difference it's super comfortable i'm standing up so high i think it's even higher than the bronco i love the chaos here it's it's somewhat of a chaos that has some sort of sense but anyways, this scooter has said 15 inch tires, it has a single motor in the back. Yeah, still feels like a dual trend very much. I, I thought that initially because of the bigger wheels, the scooter would feel like not as zippy or not as aggressive as the usual dual trends, but it very much does. It has this, you know, aggressive sort of throttle, which reacts right away like we are used to on mini motors. So first I'm going to ride around a bit. Uh, tell you about my ride impressions because this is very much the first time I'm riding a scooter. I mean, I'm riding this this scooter I also can show very easily with my hand when I'm going but actually I don't need to because I have turn signals here but We're going to talk about the features a bit later. I guess I love the brakes here. Those are zoom brakes. They're semi-hydraulic They work pretty well. However, they're not as good as NUTT brakes but man, this scooter feels so different. I still feel quite a bit of vibrations though, uh, because these aren't like huge tires, but it's so much more comfy. And taking turns feels great and stable because there's just more surface area. There's more grip because the tires are bigger. That thing here? Okay. It doesn't have a big battery. It has a 60 volt, 26 amp hour, smaller than the Thunderous. And it also has a removable battery, which I'm going to show you later. But look, curves like these feel much better here. It's good that they implemented such a button for the turn signals, because then I know if it's pressed or not. It would be also useful to have a audible signal, but could be worse, could be worse. Love the sound that the dual turns are making. All right, let's go. But still, the cartridge suspension here, the suspension has a special name. I always keep forgetting it. Uh, it's elastomeric suspension. You can exchange the cartridges and this, these ones are already pretty soft, but it's not as nice, not as comfy, I believe, as the Dualtron X. Although it's probably more comfy than mo most other dual, like way far more other dual turns that I've tried before. But the stability is something else. You can definitely feel the benefit of the bigger tires and also for carving. Wow, that feels great. It feels so fun. You get just so much more inertia in those wheels because they're bigger. It's almost like you just lean it a bit and it goes your way. Can I do the no hand thing? Let's see. Let's see. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> and look at that. That's the cycling lanes we have here in Paris. And that's not even like a big one. Woo! Has a bit of holes, bit of uh, pots, potholes. But as I said, doesn't feel as bad on the city as it could on other scooters, I believe. Boom. Boom. Thank you. Or merci. The beautiful thing about France 
is that here you don't feel so afraid while you go on the street. Because here you actually have to go on the street, not on the sidewalk. You can go, of course, on the bicycle path, but yeah, the city limits, in, in the city limits of Paris, the limit is around 30 kilometers an hour. Even though some cars might be going 50 or 60, you don't feel so endangered at all, like you would in Poland, where cars are way faster and they don't pay attention at all. I went on red there because there was a sign that I can't go. Like, actually I can't because I'm a scooter, but, well, let's assume I'm a bike for a moment. <laughs> it's so lovely, so freeing to ride here. And the Dualtron City definitely feels awesome for this sort of ride. All right, let's get back on the road. Hopping down the curb, no problem. And now let's turn on the turn signals. Oh, very nice. Oh my lord. It's so nice to ride a scooter at 50. Wow. Oh, that's so comfy. I love it. By the way, this display is not calibrated, so this might be not 50 kilometers an hour. But damn, going with the flow of traffic. Oh, it's so comfy. It's just the fact that I don't need to fight with the handlebar so much as I need to with scooters that have smaller uh, tires still feel the bumps they're still there definitely better than on the thunder worse than on a wheel for what it's worth I'm pretty impressed like if this scooter would have like a bigger battery like 50 amp hours instead of 26 I could definitely see this as a great means of transportation for longer distances because in the end, I don't like motorcycles so much because I can't take them on the bicycle path. And going like now 30, 40 isn't a problem for me. I don't need to like mash it all the time. So yeah, it seems like a pretty cool option. Or even like going 50 then on the road would seem really comfortable. And then if I go on a bicycle path, I can go slower again. I wonder where there is a bicycle path here. I mean, I don't mind the road, but there's also like a speed limit to 25 kilometers per, per hour in France, so I'm a bit stressed about that. And I also don't want to go into a highway, which I believe I'm going into. So let's just go to the right here. And let's make this turn now, let's see how it goes. Oh, it's so lovely. And voila, uh, le chemin pour les bicyclettes. Probably I'm not saying the right thing. If you have better quality streets than here in Paris, then you will enjoy it even more because like for bumps, I feel like it could be better. But in general, the feeling is really nice. But yeah, the stability is also amazing. Especially going like at higher speeds when we were going on this road, like 50. It's amazing that it doesn't have like any train tracking. The handlebar doesn't force you to go into any direction. You just sort of cruise. The position is nice, I feel like the handlebars are also high enough. Um, I don't know if it will get like the creaky stem as <laughs> most other Dualtrons do, but this feels pretty solid. Especially also because there is the tubular frame pretty high up here. So, it should be nice actually. Okay, let's max it out, let's see how fast it can go. Right, probably around 60. Something like that, 65. Okay, I won't go faster. I don't want to be dangerous. That's it, it was a pretty wide open road. That's good enough. <laughs> See how much I changed? I feel the region also kicking in, regenerative braking. Oh, and here's like a small stand, so I can easily stand on the scooter because the deck is so high, it's kind of a pain to get down every time. <laughs> I think I also have a horn here. Wow, that's a loud horn. Yeah, on this sort of like better quality road, this feels amazing. So, so nice. But it definitely feels great at those speeds. So planted. I'm also so high up. I think that's also 
makes the ride or the experience better because uh, I can see this everything. Okay, now we'll make an early acceleration test just with this display, so take it or leave it. Can be accurate, can be not. Let's see how it goes. Also not full battery. Let's go up to like 50. Whoa. 30, 40, and 50. I would say probably it's as fast as the dual turn man that I was testing. Definitely feel less power up the hill. Oh, that's the bicycle path. Damn it, I should have gone there. Can I still go here? Yeah, look. Small curb. Wow, no problem for the man. I mean, no problem for the city. All right, so I managed to find myself in a bit of a um, woody situation. And tell you what, I think that the name city is accurate. I, I don't enjoy riding this thing so much off-road. Even though it has big tires, it... Oh, yeah, the suspension isn't, isn't really soft. Um, so, if you're looking for an off-road scooter, roughly going with like a Nami or even a Dualtron X, although it has just three tires available, is pretty good because this just feels way too rattly, way too stiff for going off-road. But here on the city, yeah, it feels great. It feels really great. But we are already at 60 volts. I didn't drive far. And that's like basically almost half battery. <laughs> I think like with hard riding, this thing has like 30 kilometers of range, something like that. And that's why I also want to go on the bicycle path because then I'll be slower and then I'll be slower. I'll feel better. I mean, I'll have more range. Let's try to slow down just a bit more to see how it is when driving a bit slower. Yeah, oh, definitely you can feel a lot of the bumps. I don't have any frame of reference because I never went here with anything else, but I, just by my voice you can tell that ah, uh, yeah, yeah, it feels pretty rattly. <laughs> All right, so now that we are in a bit of a quieter place, let's talk about the features and general build quality and impressions of this scooter. And just taking a look at it, it is so huge. That's what she said. It's humongous. It's 150 centimeters long longer by like 25 centimeters than most scooters and definitely most performance scooters this thing is huge so yeah that's my first impression 15 inch tires very high off the ground really like the position here really cool but let's take a look at the handlebars maybe first we have these zoom semi-hydraulic brakes we have the turn signals here so we just press a button here and then we have the turn signals here on the back and this is also the whole light array oh, scooter turned off because it was on for a while Boom. And this is also the whole light array. So we have the turn signal here and we also do have a brake light. Boop, boop, boop. So this is very nice. Maybe I would like the turn signals to be a bit further away. So cars and, and bicyclists and I know pedestrians can see better which way you're pointing, but that's already pretty good. However, this innovation didn't go into the front. There is no turn signals here and the light array is terrible. Just like the old Dualtron Thunder, there's no usable nighttime ride light here. So we need to just add something here onto the handlebars, which sucks. And I wonder why with a, such an innovative scooter, we still have terrible lighting. But on the topic of lighting, this scooter has nine RGB lights and you can see it from the side. This scooter is just glowing and I'm sure that in the night it looks amazing. Now, if you're not a RGB fan, you can also turn it off by just pressing a button. But I think for safety and definitely the cool factor, I would leave it on. And the RGB LEDs are here. One, two, three on the uh, swing arms. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, where's the ninth? I don't know. I forgot. But there's nine for sure. <laughs> and just taking a second to look at this thing, I'm very glad that Dualtron keeps innovating, keeps making interesting stuff and keeps experimenting. Uh, just like with the Dualtron Man that I tried a while ago, because this just breeds innovation and maybe some idea will work, maybe some will not, but I'm very happy to see interesting products from Dualtron. Well, anyways, let's go back to the handlebar here. 
we have the button for the RGB lights. This button is for the horn and it's very loud. It's located here. And then we have also the forward button, which I don't know what it does, and this E button. I'll check that out later. The handlebars are also folding. I won't show that now because I have the phone mounted here, but they do fold. Here we have a clasp which um, would hold the stem in place if we fold the scooter. However, there is nothing to connect it to here on the bottom. I think one part is here missing, or maybe we need some accessory from Dualtron. Um, further on, we have the mini motors display, which is by far my favorite on scooters. Maybe they're just the NAMI system is a bit more advanced, but I feel like this is the, the standard and the throttle is also very, very responsive. I also like the grips. Now moving on here, all of the cable routing looks very nice. Goes in here, goes out here. There's a proper ceiling here, proper, you know, rubber parts here elements so uh, so water won't get in so easily and yeah all in all cable riding maybe is yes, except for that that doesn't look that good looks pretty solid now this is not a review uh, also check out maybe other channels to see or other other users and forums to see how their scooter is performing but that's my first impressions here also really like the um, design here there is several tubes coming along into uh, the deck this looks really solid and therefore the stem is also a folding bit is also a lot higher so that's also why the handlebars feel so much stiffer in the stem because usually this part is around here and this exerts a lot more force onto the handlebars and makes it less makes it more wobbly and this is very very solid especially for a dual tron here in the front we have the swing arm and this looks all really solid cables nicely routed uh, but the mud guard is definitely too short here on the front part this thing will get filthy filthy when it will be raining the, the back part of the mud guard here though is uh, good so this thing should be like this long so maybe they'll improve that in the future said here's the horn here's a bit of a accents and a new cool oh, wheel the RGB lighting um, and and here we can see the, the kickstand really solid I'm glad that the era of uh, low quality kickstand is oh, kickstands is over hopefully so here we can see maybe something weird there is a crease here or a space an open space what is this space for well here we have the charge ports standard charging time I believe around 13 hours but can you see, you can also fast charge it uh, with uh, a fast charger at around five hours uh, still a bit disappointed that it takes so long that to charge this thing up but that's what we get here and in the middle I don't know what this button does I think nothing but in the middle we have a keyhole Wow what is this keyhole for Adam well it is for a key Wow thanks Adam okay but what is this key for well you turn it you insert the key and turn and then you can open this door and under this door you have a battery and this battery well, watch out for the connector here because it's right away on the bottom you can disconnect and then take it out so yes this scooter actually features a removable battery it's a 60 volt 26 amp hour unit very small actually for the size of the scooter that we get here and the purpose with these big tires to be comfortable I guess for longer rides but yeah that's really cool and we can also charge it separately by using this port here in the back so you don't need to take this uh, scooter like if you have a garage or you have a garage for bicycles you can just leave the scooter there and just take the battery because it's way easier to take the battery than this whole big scooter with smaller scooters i wouldn't say so but with this one definitely there's a solid plastic casing too looks very well waterproofed we have a nice connector it's a xt120 so really good connector no uh, communication wires though so probably the BMS is here right away there's also holes here on the inside so if any water would come in it goes right out and this part is also sealed in the front here we have the controller which also has heatsink on the bottom which I'm gonna show later and yeah so let's put it back in and here we can put the connector in boom in place and now we can close up the door 
very easy lock it yeah and that's it very cool option now i wish that the scooter would have a bigger battery because for its size i think that's what it actually needs but i guess if you also make shorter rides and you want the additional comfort and stability then yeah that's that and if you don't want to take this whole contraption into your home it is definitely better just to take the battery now the deck is pretty roomy i i like it a footrest though is lacking here in the back uh, this is just the tail mud guard which also has like a rod here for stability but you shouldn't put your feet down here um, you can get a additional handle here in the back which mounts here but I just wish this was stock like it's really a bummer that they don't include footrest stock in this scooter I like the deck also because it's uh, rubber so it's easy to clean maybe not as not as grippy as grip tape but definitely easier to maintain and in the back we can see the mudguard which is phenomenal very long very nice this is how a mudguard should look like and it also has rgb here here we can also see the brakes i believe these are 160 millimeter rotors and zoom brakes now with this size of a scooter i would probably like to have already motorcycle grade brakes because probably the disc swirl or the pads will wear off here pretty quickly as there is not that much region uh, oh by the way i forgot to, to to show you also all of this compartment here is uh, metal everything is metal and those are the holes i was telling you about earlier so yeah this is the dualtron city scooter a pretty weird contraption but i actually like it quite a lot if you really care about this high speed stability you don't want a steering damper and you still want the scooter to turn like a regular scooter because this will have like a smaller turning radius than a scooter with a steering damper and this is pretty cool uh, i think still that the battery is quite small for the size but hey if you just make small distances maybe that's something for you if you make bigger distances i i definitely wouldn't get it um, i like the suspension but it still feels very stiff it feels more sporty than comfortable i think that the dualtron x has still better suspension than that but the stability is on the highest level of any scooter that i ever recorded and that's something really important because usually scooters have small tires you get you know you just lift one hand up and and then you can fall very easily with this scooter i think this is way less possible it feels very sturdy very stable yeah that's something just i really like and you're also standing very tall off the ground so you have more visibility and the geometry is very nice so yeah i think it's pretty cool to ride this scooter so buy a electric unicycle and with that said if you're still here, leave a like on the video, subscribe to see more content like this. I'll see you in the next video. See you soon. All right, let's go. That was a big curb. That handled it like a champ. So enjoyable. Still rattly, but enjoyable. Oh, this current feels so great.